what you lot, how's it going? Welcome back to Football Therapy with me, your host, Jan. I hope you lot are all doing well and welcome back to another Chelsea News video where we're going to be talking about two players in today's video. One being Dries Mertens. A lot of people are saying this is actually close to happening or at least a lot is happening behind the scenes. Frank Lampard reportedly calling up Dries Mertens basically every day on the blower trying to finalise the details maybe, or maybe fully change his mind to make the switch over to London. I want to talk a bit about that. Also, of course, Declan Rice. I've kind of been dodging this story a little bit, but it seems to be all over the rags. The £70 million price tag for the young ex-Chelsea Academy central defensive midfielder. This kind of gets a lot of eyes rolling. United fans and Chelsea fans, obviously he's been linked to both clubs. It's not being well received among the fan bases. I do actually see some value in Declan Rice and I'm going to talk about it in a moment. But yeah, way too much money. And although it's not in today's news video, a quick shout out to what's happening in other European leagues. Obviously the Bundesliga is about to restart, which is huge man, behind closed doors. I know Germany generally have a really good health service. Their testing is the best in Europe, so I get how they'd be the country most suitable to try and restart the season behind closed doors, provided it's safe. I mean, we'll all watch Bundesliga football if it starts, let's be honest. But in other European leagues, if you look at the Eredivisie in Holland, they've cancelled the season. League 1, which is a top five league, has just cancelled the season, and League 2 as well. So lots of stuff's happening, man. And this, although it might be frustrating not to see more European football uh, finish the season, it's going to mean a lot of stuff for players, clubs, transfers, news, and all that kind of gear. Anyway, I'm not going to talk about those things in this video. I just wanted to shout it out because it's basically important at the beginning of this video. But before we talk about Dries Mertens and Declan Rice, a quick reminder for you lot to subscribe if you haven't done so already. Hey man, support the movement, click the sub and the bell notifications icon because I upload every single day, man. I'm offering you guys content throughout lockdown every day. And if you want to help a brother out, why not like the video? All right, mate, let's get on with it. All right. So before we talk about the 70 million pound man that Chelsea once had on the books in the shape of Declan Rice, let's talk about Dries Mertens. Ding! <laughs> now if you watch Football Therapy, you know Dries Mertens is a personal favourite of mine. Great player, very versatile player, seasoned, experienced player, obviously in his early 30s now would be the sort of... I don't know, matured uh, seniority figure in the front line, could act as a role model for both centre forwards and wingers, speaks fluent English, can play as like a number 10. Funny dude, good to have around the, the training pitch. I really like him and it'll be on a free. It's just getting a good contract for him to bring him over to London. Now Chelsea were linked to Dries in January quite a lot and it did look like maybe a deal could have been struck between Chelsea and Napoli, but it didn't. Still, Frank Lampard does seem very interested. He was looking at senior players like Cavani, Dries Mertens. And although, you know, Giroud's found form again, I'm not sure he's going to be a long-term option. I think his renewal of his contract at Chelsea might be more a sort of a financial security thing, like a stabilisation thing for both player and club. But someone like Dries Mertens could absolutely come in, start, rotate, start in Lampard's side pretty much immediately. Playing down the middle in a 4-3-3, Dries Mertens was a goal scoring machine for Napoli, Maurizio Sarri's Napoli. Now remember, Chelsea often play a 4-3-3 and as well, Chelsea are still, I don't want to use the word hangover, but they've got the essence of Maurizio Sarri still in the air around Stamford Bridge and that's where Dries Mertens exploded. Although Frank Lampard will of course have his own managerial and coaching ideas, those players will have loads of the sort of fermented ideas of Sarri ball in their head and although Frank Lampard's football might be slightly different it might be similar enough for Dries Mertens to know the movements to know the patterns to know how they play and just slot in immediately score a bunch of goals settle the ship now how would he get all Frank Lampard's ideas over in his head before transferring potentially to Chelsea how about if Frank Lampard calls you up every single day <laughs> yes well that is the headlines from today's news stories regarding Chelsea and Dries Mertens we knew that he had a very aggressive approach in terms of signing Dries Mertens and we knew he'd made direct contact with the Belgian international but apparently it's almost daily these phone calls between 
Frank Lampard and Dries Mertens. Remember, Dries can officially talk to whoever he wants now regarding a transfer. Tapping up is over. He can get on the blower to any coach agent he wants. And apparently he's talking to Lamps all the time. And perhaps they're striking up a relationship. We know Lampard did that with Hakim Ziyech. He was like, messaging him all the time on WhatsApp. Ziyech has already said this twice in two different interviews that he and Lampard spoke loads before the agreement of the transfer. And seemingly it looks like the same thing's happening between Frank Lampard and Dries Mertens right now. Personally, I like it. Obviously I like the idea of Dries Mertens coming to Chelsea, but I like the way Frank Lampard's developing a rapport with the potential transfer targets, calling them up loads, talking to them loads and trying to bring them to Chelsea. There's a few journals that are saying this actually is very, well, I don't want to say very close to happening, but very likely to happen. So try and get the idea in your heads, boys and girls. Dries Mertens may well come to Chelsea, and I'd like that. Anyway, moving on, Dries is great, but let's talk about <laughs> this story that's been floating around. Declan Rice to Chelsea, potentially for £70 million. First off, why well, I think this is a bogus story. Well, I think it's a bogus story for two reasons. Actually, hold on. Let me preface this with, I think Chelsea do want Declan Rice, or I think they like the idea of getting Declan Rice. A good, young, central defensive midfielder who can move the ball quickly who plays football in the modern way fine i mean they've got the likes of billy gilmore up and coming in that position as well but whatever right back to what i think it could be a bogus story firstly 70 million pounds 70 million pounds for that kind of player in this transfer market is a madness there's talk of Jaden sancho's price tag coming down to 87 million pounds from 120 and he's one of the most valuable assets in world football at the moment so why would um trees mertens declan rice why would he go for 70 million well i'll tell you why the second reason why i think it's a bit of a non-starter this story West Ham don't want to sell him and don't need to sell him. Simples, probably their most valuable asset, but a fan favorite of the fans, obviously. As well, they were like, why in this difficult, testing, turbulent times would we sell our sort of, in many ways, jewel of the crown? Do you see what I mean? Sure, Declan might want to come back to Chelsea. Frank Lampard at the helm, exciting project. His boyhood club, his best mate Mason Mount is playing there. You know, nice idea. Probably get paid much more money than West Ham. Maybe win stuff. No offence to West Ham, but you can see why Declan might want the move. But really, for me, it's a bit of a non-starter because of the money involved. And because even if Jorginho was to go back to Juventus, in that sort of lone pivot in the midfield three, Chelsea can still play Kovacic, they can still play Billy Gilmore. You know, it just, I get it, maybe if he was like 30 million, 40 million, sure, he could be a Jorginho replacement. Yeah, I get that. Like That kind of makes sense as well, and he probably fits the mould of how Frank Lampard wants to play. Do you see what I mean? So I'd kind of get it. Maybe that's in their minds. Sell Jorginho, use the money directly on Declan Rice, and Declan Rice will hold value because it's just, you know, young English international starts. Do you know what I mean? That holds value. So I don't want to come across as one of these people who just hate on the idea of Declan Rice, because I get it. I think he might suit the way Frank Lampard wants to play football. I think he'd probably, well, I think he is a very talented player and he's going to get better. Let's throw up the who scored graphic quickly over my face on Declan Rice. Um, here he is. <laughs> <laughs> he makes 5.1 tackles and interceptions from defensive midfield per game, which is pretty good. His numbers aren't awful. Who scored haven't ranked him incredibly highly, but he's often been playing in a struggling West Ham team. All right, let's get rid of that. Yeah, it's probably worth mentioning as well. His passing is actually really, really good in terms of his passing accuracy. So immediately can see a pass, can make the pass, and he can put a defensive action in. That's valuable in your DM, especially when you're considered a young, talented player up and coming. So I get it, I, I'm not one of these people that's on the hate train for Declan Rice. Just personally, for me, it would be a waste of money. Maybe 40 million, tops. That's my personal thought on the matter. But of course, as always, I'm really interested in getting your thoughts and opinions on both these players. Let me know what you think about Dries Mertens. I know people are split on him, that everyone doesn't share my opinion, and that's fine. In fact, that's great. No one should share, well, not everyone should share the same opinion in football, because then it would be boring. What do you think of Dries? Do you think it'd be a good experienced player to come in on a free, maybe sign a two year deal? Theoretically, let me know down in the comment section below. And how do you feel about Declan Rice? I'm sure, like me, many of you agree that would be way too much money. But could you see value in him generally if perhaps he cost a little bit less? 
Get down in the comment section below and let me know your thoughts on Declan Rice too. A big shout out to everyone who's been hanging out with me every single day on Yan's Yard at the 6pm live streams playing FIFA 20. It's getting pretty epic now. I'm having so much fun doing it. Starting to see recurring names in the chat and it's a really interactive and fun series. So if you want to come and hang out with me and the boys daily at around 5 or 6 p.m., do click on the link in the top of the description and subscribe to Yan's Yard and come and hang out with me on the live streams. Uh, other than that, guys, if you've enjoyed this content today, I'd appreciate it if you did like the video because that means a lot to me. And what else? A bit of housekeeping, I guess. Follow me on social media at Football Yannick on both Instagram and Twitter. But that's it. So enjoy the football that's sadly not happening at the moment, and I will see you later. You ain't so tough with that bad boy tuck. I'ma get it how I'm living. I'ma walk the walk. Outline my lines. I rap through thought. Body bag the verse. Outline the chuck. In my life, seen trouble. Hustle on the double. Silence on the trigger like my pick got a muzzle. Yo, chick like to guzzle. Bad boy stay in trouble. I only love this paper. Sorry, I don't. I love me, baby.